For at TV, the world is thinking. Now, head of a national organization, um, basically when I came in here I said, look folks, they have defined the debate now for a very, very long time. And they have defined the debate in the sense of this always just being about abortion care and not about the broader issues that women make with regard to reproductive choices. And so when we talk about how and what it means to be pro-choice, um, it's much more than how the right or how the conservative, as Caitlin talked about it, how the conservatives have defined it. It is about a continuum of decisions that women make when we are making decisions in our reproductive life, including, to begin with, to be pro-choice means do we as young people access information about sex and sexuality and how we pre prevent pregnancy and STDs, HIV? That's called sex ed. We at some point as young women in our lives make a decision about whether or not we're going to access birth control or whether we're not and whether or not we're become, going to become sexually active or whether we're not. And so the issue then becomes access to those contraception contraceptives. The other part that it means to be pro-choice is that if at that point we find ourselves pregnant, that we decide whether to carry that pregnancy to term. That is also being pro-choice. It is a decision by a woman to carry a pregnancy to term means we support that decision, that choice. If indeed she cannot take care of that child and decides to give it up for adoption, that too is a choice. And what does it mean to be pro-choice? That we support her in that decision to put, a, put that baby up for adoption. And if in the event she finds herself with an unintended pregnancy and is faced with terminating that pregnancy, that too is a choice, a decision that she makes between herself, her family, and as Dan would say, her doctor, and her God. And when I talk to politicians around this country, it is something we do not run away from. Because women hear their God with their ears. Their ears. So it does not take George Bush or Pat Robertson, quite honestly, to tell us which God to hear. But that is also a decision on the continuum of choices that women make to be pro-choice. I think there's confusion around that. People think, well, if I'm pro-choice, it just must be I just support abortion rights. No. It means you support access to contraception and access to sex education. It means you support a full and healthy pregnancy. It means we support access to adoption. It means we support terminating a pregnancy if need be. But it does not mean, it does not mean um, that we are just in this column called um, abortion rights.